Hi everyone, I uh, wanted to address something that I read in one of my comment sections and I find it kind of humorous so I'll, I'll address it now. You know, I was reading the comments on uh, when I uh, showed the buckets, two buckets I got in and one commenter said, enjoy a bucket of chemicals. Uh, first of all, if he's talking about the preservatives in the food, right, uh, all I have to say about that is maybe he misunderstood the whole concept of emergency food supplies, you know. I mean, uh, yeah, he can uh, buy lettuce and he can buy fresh tomatoes and fresh vegetables and stuff, but I think they'll only last about a week. And if the power goes out, I don't think he'll have any food on hand. So uh, to each his own, you know. These uh, emergency food supplies that are in these buckets are not supposed to be regular food items. They're supposed to be emergency food supplies that last a long time. So they're dehydrated, and they may have preservatives in them, but it's dehydrated meats, it's dehydrated pasta, it's food. It's food for survival. Okay, when, when push comes to shove, you're not exactly looking for uh, the healthiest foods in the world. You know, I eat healthy. Yesterday I had pasta with pesto sauce. It was really good. Um, I eat pretty healthy. I keep my uh, vitamins. Uh, take my vitamins every day. I'm on a whole bunch of uh, natural supplements. But when push comes to shove and uh, something's going to happen to the food supply, I am going to have food on hand to survive. Uh, whether or not it has preservatives, I'd much rather have something that lasts five years and have access to it than starve to death slowly. You know, that's my, my, my take on it. I mean, some people can can uh, poo-poo the idea that, you know, I have buckets of food. You know, some people are jealous, some people are just ignorant. You know, everyone is has their own little thought process. I can't go into that person's mind and know what he's thinking. So to that person, I can say, you know, if you feel like you want to grow, uh, you know, vegetables and, and tomatoes and uh, all this stuff, you're going to need the uh, electricity to go along with that because all that stuff is going to have to store in a refrigerator. And by the way, even with a refrigerator, fresh vegetables and stuff like that only last that long. You know, I have uh, tomatoes and uh, salad, and uh, salad only lasts a few days, even in the refrigerator, until it begins to wilt. You know, fresh vegetables only last that long. But dehydrated meals, they last five years, and the meats last uh, no, I mean, the meats last five years, and the, the pasta dishes last 25 years. That's what it's for, for emergencies, emergency food preparation. So, you got to take the good with the bad, yeah. It may have preservatives in it. I don't know about what well, they say, chemicals. I mean, preservatives, I guess you can call them chemicals. But um, it's for, it serves a purpose. It's for survival. It's not for health. You know, when uh, when the shit hits the fan, people, you know, I think my last thing's going to be worried about uh, how many chemicals or how many preservatives are in the food. I'll be, just be happy that I'm eating chopped meat and I'm eating chicken and I'm having uh, soup. The potato soup, by the way, was delicious. So uh, to that commenter, all I have to say is, hey, you know, if you think you can do better, then uh, all more power to you, you know. If you can get a healthier meal that lasts that long, then more power to you. I'm buying these things for my own survival. You want to do something for yourself and your family that's better? Maybe you have a farm. You know, maybe you have a farm that raised chickens and stuff. I don't have a farm out here in New York. I can't raise chickens. I can't raise uh, vegetables. I can't grow my own food. Uh, so this is the best I can do for myself. But, hey, you know, everyone has to comment something. So, to that person, that's all I have to say. But I hope the day never comes that you're actually re rewriting me and asking me for my uh, so-called, quote-unquote, bucket of chemicals because that's not going to happen. Take it easy, people. Stay safe. Bye.